in the previous videos, we were looking at the two different methods or we were looking at the allowance method for the journal entries. But under the allowance method, there are two separate ways to determine how much you're actually going to write off. So this one of them is called percent of sales method. The other one is called analysis of receivables method. So the first thing we're going to do, and this is only used for the allowance account only. So the first thing we're going to look, do is look at the percent of sales method. So basically credit sales are generated, I'm sorry, accounts receivable are generated when I have credit sales. If I have cash sales, there's no need to be worried about not collecting money because I will get paid immediately. So let me show you what happens on the allowance for doubtful accounts when we talk about using a percent of sales method. So here I have this information. As of December 31st, my AR balance is 240000 The balance in my ADA account, this is called the unadjusted balance. It's $3,250 credit side. Extremely important to know which side your balance is on on the unadjusted balance. My credit sales are $3 million, and my bad debt as a percent of credit sales is 0.34, I'm sorry, three-fourths of one percent. So I need to determine how much am I going to allot for the next year coming up. So I'm going to take three million times three-quarters of one percent. And if you're doing this on your calculator, it will be 0 .0075. So when I calculate that, I'm going to get a total of $22,500. So this is what I want you to write down right now. I'll wait for you to get a pad of paper. There's something very important I want to tell you. The, when using the percent of sales method, the number you actually calculate, in this case the 22,500, becomes the actual adjusting entry that you need to put on the allowance for doubtful accounts. So let's take a, I'll say that again. When I'm using percent of sales method, the number you actually calculate is the uh, actual number you're going to use for the adjusting entry. Remember, I said that we need to be concerned about three things, the unadjusted balance, the adjusting entry, and the adjusted balance. So here's my journal entry. So this is my adjusting entry. I'm doing it at the end of the year. Because I'm doing percent of sales method, again, it's all under the allowance account. I'm only using the allowance for doubtful accounts for anything under the allowance method. So here's what the T account looks like. Down here, originally I had $30,000. Then I wrote off $26,750 during the year. And at the end of the year, here's that unadjusted balance. At the end of the year, I had 3250 as an unadjusted balance because I took 30,000 minus 26750 which gives me a credit unadjusted balance which means I wrote off less than I set aside. So now here's my adjusting entry. So remember percent of sales method you use the adjusting entry as the number you actually get. So now my adjusted balance is the two numbers added together, 25750 So I'm really only concerned that you understand these three concepts here on the allowance for doubtful accounts. The unadjusted balance, the adjusting entry, and the adjusted balance.